Hello and welcome to this session on Jenkins beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn how can we run a parameterized job from command line. So we are going to see today in a very basic step by step manner how do we run a job with parameters from command line and we will also see how do we show the results on the command line. So let's get started and I have my Jenkins up and running on port 9191 and here is a sample job that we created earlier. So I will go to this job and I will go to configure and this is a very simple job where I have a build step for execute windows batch command and it just echoes this automation step by step. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to parameterize this job. So what I will do is I will go to the general section and I will check this project is parameterized and I will add a string parameter here and let me give it a name as message and I am leaving the default value and now I will go to my batch command and I will refer to that parameter here. So here I will say percent percent and inside to percentage sign I will give the name of my parameter which is message. Now in case you are on Linux or Mac systems you will give this uh, with the format with the syntax you will say dollar and then message but because I am on Windows I will say percent message percent and I will apply and save and now I have got this option to run with parameters. I will build with parameters and whatever message now I give here it will print that message. So I say here build and if I go to the console output here you can see it prints out whatever message is being given in the parameters. Now we have to run this from the command line. So I have already created an earlier session so if you go to my channel on YouTube uh, which is YouTube automation step by step and go to the playlists and here go to the Jenkins tips and tricks playlist. So here you will see I have already created an earlier session. So the first session was how to parameterize a job in Jenkins and then how to run a job from the command line. So you can see this session in case you are new to command line execution. So here I will directly jump to the command line. So here if you go to your Jenkins and go to the CLI window here you have all the options and you have to download this jar which I have already done. So I will go to my folder where I have already downloaded this jar and I will I will copy this location where I have my Jenkins CLI jar and go to the command line and cd to this particular location and now I can run my command here. So for that on the Jenkins CLI I will go to this build option so that I get a command to build a job. So I will just copy this section go to the command line and paste it and here I have to give my job name which is sample job 1. If I run it now of course I have to give my authentication so I will give my username which is admin and password which is again admin. And so it has not shown any result but it has executed successfully. So for that to see the results I will use the minus s switch and all this we have learned in the last session where I have shown how to run from command line. So you can see that and as of now it says success and if I use minus s and minus v you can see it says echo is on but it has not printed any message because we have not given any parameter. So let me clean the screen and for that what you will have to do is you will have to say minus p which is for parameter and then the name of the parameter so in our case it is message and then the value so I want to say hello and now if you run it you can see it prints hello. 
also if you have any message or any parameter which is which has a space for example if I say hello world and try to run it now you can see it is not running it it is giving some errors so for that what you will have to do is we have to enclose our parameter inside double quotes because there is a space in between and now let me run it and it says hello world so this is how you can run your parameterized job from Jenkins I hope you like this session please hit the like button and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please don't forget to subscribe I will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching